you guys thanks. Hello, can I help you with something? Um, Did you want to see a doctor? You're probably all booked up. I'll come back. No, hang on, it's fine. We're actually quiet at the moment. Do you want to see a doctor now? I'm not myself at the moment. Go on. I've been off work for a week, but I don't feel right yet. So what do you expect me to do about it? I need a doctor's note. Didn't take you long, did it? I'm sorry? You've seen the evening paper. No. Oh. The, the job centre said I had to see my GP. If I stop work without a medical reason, I won't get any benefits. I can't issue a note without proper grounds, so, um, why aren't you fit to work? I'm feeling, um, stressed. Stress? Yeah. What job do you do? I work in a factory. Load up goods for delivery. And what symptoms are you experiencing? Well, I, I feel wound up inside. I can't concentrate uh, and I d don't feel like eating. And what are you wound up about? Um... What, changes to job? Changes in domestic circumstance? Family bereavement? No. And what makes you think that sitting at home is going to make you feel any better? I just need a break. Join the club, Mr. Maloney. That's why annual leave was invented. Look, uh, I suggest you go back to work and look for other ways to improve the quality of your life. And if you still feel this anxiety in a couple of weeks, then come and see me again. Right. Brian Maloney. Yeah. Hi, I'm Dr. Robinson. I'm the police surgeon. I'll see you first. I'm all right. You're not going anywhere till I've checked you over. Come on. Are the police going to charge me? I don't know. My job is just to make sure that you're fit for questioning. There weren't any witnesses. My boss called the police. Well, then it's up to your arresting officer to establish the facts. I've never been in trouble with the police before. Have you got any other injuries ap apart from the ones I can see? I here, my ribs. Ooh, OK. Uh, take your top off and lie down. Oh. Mm. Someone kick you? Yeah. Mm. Well, I don't think you've broken any ribs, otherwise you'd really know about it. Can you breathe all right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does this hurt? No. Good. Well, with an abdominal injury, there's always the chance of internal damage, so if you have any sharp pains or discomfort or blood in your urine, go straight and see your GP, all right? My own doctor. Yeah. Is that a problem? I don't know if he'd believe me. What do you mean? Well, I saw him yesterday. I wasn't that interested. Were you feeling unwell? No. Ill, exactly. More stressed. You don't want to know. No, go on. I wasn't ready to go back to work. I've been off for a week. So, why do you think you're suffering from stress? Because of what it's like in there. It's been building up for a while now. What, this situation, you mean? I knew it was going to happen. I saw it coming. The, the lads are always picking on me. They run this scam, you see. They supply customers off the books. I wouldn't go along with it. I don't agree with stealing. They wouldn't leave me alone after that. Well, couldn't you tell your boss about it? 
Or at least another colleague. No way. I'd have been dead. It must have been difficult for you. I've stuck it for ages. I can't sleep. I spend all day worrying about what's going to happen next. I asked the job centre if I could leave, but they said I had to have a good reason. Well, can't you tell them what's happening? It was a girl at the counter. It would have been embarrassing. She said if I was incapacitated, I had to tell my GP. Well, I was going to tell Dr Clay, I was, but... Dr Clay? He didn't take me seriously. He made me feel worse. <laughs>